Hello and welcome to today's video. So if you are new here, my name is Jennifer and I do videos on motherhood, lifestyle, family vlogs, and travel. So if you are interested in content like that, please be sure to subscribe. And now I'm going to introduce today's video. So in today's video, I am sharing my top five toddler essentials for flying. So in general, it can be used for travel, but these are a little bit more specific to flying on an airplane and more so flying long distance, like a longer flight. So that's kind of what we're gonna talk about today. So let's jump into it. So when I'm talking about essentials, I mean outside of like snacks, a tablet, um, entertainment, toys, extra clothes, all that stuff. Not that stuff. I'm talking about like specific items that either you may or may not have thought of, or if you thought of it, I wanted to share kind of what we've used and what worked for us. Cause we have been on many, many cross country flights from Vegas to New York and back and forth multiple times over the past few years. And these are kind of like our tried and true things that we know have worked with our baby and now toddler. And I really wanted to share those things. So <laughs> the first thing we're going to talk about is a compact stroller. This is our compact stroller now. Just from that alone, this is lightweight. Like this is easy to pick up. It has a nice shoulder strap here. Oh, this is the wrong way. <laughs> it has a shoulder strap if you needed to wear it this way. Um, this is the Kalugo compact stroller. Now, we love this because of how compact it is. It fits in the overhead bins on almost all airplanes that we've been on. Um, at least in the US, like <laughs> in traveling with the US because we have not taken international yet. But um, yeah, I love it because it is easy to maneuver. It's lightweight. It more or less is a one-handed open. It's super easy to push, lightweight. This whole layer is washable. If you need it, it has a good recline. It's like, this far back like if you can see that angle this is it and then that's the seat so it is perfect flying i do have a few attachments on here that are part of it like the mesh bag a little stroller caddy here uh, the hook and stuff but that's not part and there is actually a good enough bottom basket that you can fit things in there we don't put a ton of stuff in here just because when we are traveling we try to make it as easy as possible to fold and unfold the stroller as necessary but yeah this is this has been a favorite and the also nice thing about it is this stroller comes with its own little backpack carrying case nice padding on the back and the straps um, it's nice because if you are concerned about whether or not airline will allow you to bring the stroller on board um because we were honestly we were a little bit weird like we're like oh are they gonna like say something um because maybe they might not know that it fits in the overhead bin i don't want to cause any trouble whatever we did put it in here a couple times just to get that out of the way um so it fits nicely in here but you don't have to use it because now we just bring the stroller on board and it's fine and we put it in the overhead bin Easy peasy, no problem. But it is nice that it comes with this because if you did want to gate check it, it's nice that you don't have to worry about like things getting lost. And there is a little bit of extra room where you could like put things in here, but we're gonna go more into that with the next item. <laughs> okay, the next item is a travel car seat and a car seat bag. Now this is just a cheap one from Amazon, but it works great because not only does it have the handle <laughs> and it is pretty beat up not gonna lie about that but it's held up we've used it many times and it's still holding strong <laughs> um, but the nice is that it folds down to this size when you don't need it so i can here let's do a quick fold up so you can see actually the size of it 
when it's not open like this. So hold it up like this. And I'm literally just rolling, rolling, rolling. <laughs> rolling, rolling. And obviously bottom to top is best. One for air and two because the bag's actually up here. <laughs> and you just literally fold it over like this. Everything is tucked, tucked, tucked in. And for an added layer, you just close that off. And then there's a little hanging hook. This is how small it gets. So this, I would highly recommend some sort of car seat bag. One, to protect the car seat, and two, just for ease of carrying. Um, so this is great. This is the travel car seat that we use. So this is the Costco, I think it's the Sonera Next, I think is the name. I will have everything linked that I can link below, but I will also have like the name somewhere up here if I'm, you know, misinformed about something. But this is a great, great travel car seat. Um, forward facing only though. So that is something to note. This is not for rear facing children. This is only if your child is forward facing. Um, it is up to 40 pounds, I believe. It has the um, anchors on the side and they right now they're all kind of tucked away and look hooked up but it does have the the rear the back one and then the latches the latch sorry that's <laughs> the latches to um the bottom and then the one on top so it's nice and secure so it has you know the point harness um there are some um pads that came with it but i just didn't put it on it also comes with a cup holder but it kind of sticks to the side so it's it's not very useful so we don't use that um but it's a very lightweight i think it weighs less than eight pounds if i'm correct and it's just so easy to travel with and it's just yeah this has been great for a little while we used to travel with our huge graco um extend to fit or forever I, i'm sorry i don't remember <laughs> exactly which model but yeah, that was just, that was a pain, like a real pain. So having this has been so nice, nice and lightweight. And it does, we have not tested this out yet because we're just, we don't, it's just, it's easier for us to not bring it on the plane with us. We gate check it all the time. But I do know that this does fit at least on like regular size airplanes, if that makes sense. Um, because I have seen like the reviews and I've seen people like bring it on the plane and things like that. So it does fit should you want to. I just, we just don't ever do it. Um, but it's nice to know that if we ever did need to, it does. <laughs> so yes, um, I know it seems extra, but having like a travel car seat that's lighter and easier to bring with you than your regular car seat, um, especially when they get to like the toddler age, it's just so much nicer to not have to lug extra extra weight when you're already bringing a lot of stuff you know <laughs> okay the next thing i'm going to talk about and i have spoken about this item before many times is this inflatable seat gap filler so this is it this is it deflated um you can pretty you can fold it down pretty small it did we had a bag for it and i think i just lost it so now we just kind of carry it around like this um but this has been great because it basically just acts as a filler for that gap between the seat and the back of the um, seat in front of you for your baby or toddler so that they have free movement to move around or if they need to lay down like you don't have to worry about like them falling through that gap and it's pretty easy to inflate just on its own but to go with this i have a chargeable portable mini pump now, I'm gonna actually blow this up for you because this has been great. Not only just for this, but for like all of our like pool floaties and things like that. And it comes with several attachments that you could use it should you kind of travel with like vacuum sealed bags and all that stuff. Um, because I do know that some people do that. So, and we've done it before, so not to, <laughs> it's not a judging thing, I'm just saying. <laughs> but let me actually show you how it works because then you can see and just really, just really know it's like it's it's good it's good
Okay, so this is it fully inflated. Um, I do leave a little bit of room, like air, just because um, when you do fly, obviously think the pressure um, changes, so I do do that. But yeah, it is fairly easy to blow up, even um, manually by mouth. Um, the little pump is really just for convenience, but yeah, this is it. You just literally shove it in that little space. And what we like to do is I do bring like a little blanket and pillow situation for her, especially because, um, I don't know if I mentioned this, we took a lot of like red eye flights and like nighttime flights. So this was especially necessary for us because our baby at the time and toddler now, she would sleep on those flights and it was just good to have like a place to lay her down comfortably. So that's what this is. And in terms of deflating, very easy you literally just pull open both tabs that was the one tab so this is what you would how you would blow it up easily without losing the air and then to deflate it you pull the second and it comes out so quick like look at that like it's already coming out see and it's gonna squish back down so fast you see that <laughs> super super fast all right so Yes, would highly, highly recommend that, especially for littles, um, you might not need as much as she gets, our, our toddler gets older, but seriously, it was so nice to have, and it's nice to know that we always have that option should we need it, so. Okay, so the next few items are a little bit smaller. <laughs> so the first thing I'm going to show is this cell phone holder. Now. The reason why I make this a toddler essential, but in general, it can be great for anybody, is because when you have a toddler, and even if they're sleeping, you know, there's a good chance, like a baby toddler is gonna move around, they might still need you. You wanna be hands-free as most as best you can. So this allows me to, if I want to watch something on my phone, I just undo it like this, like it's it's whatever way makes sense but this part of the holder hooks on back tray table <laughs> sorry um it just like hooks on this way so you leave that and then you can fold this down and then put your phone right across here so yeah, like that so then you can hook it onto the back tray table and just watch whatever you're watching on your phone like that so Perfect, perfect, perfect. And to go with that, if you do not already have wireless earphones, it might be nice to invest in some. Not that you have to, but it just, it might be nice to have it. Because like I said, being hands-free when you can, especially with babies and toddlers, that is one of the steps to success. <laughs> All right, so keeping with the technology theme, as you know, airlines have not quite um caught up to the whole bluetooth headset situation so what i have is this bluetooth transmitter so you plug this into the port where you would plug in regular headphones you turn this button on and connect it to your bluetooth um headphones earphones whatever you have and it works exactly the same. So then you can, if you want to watch whatever the airline is providing, you can watch it that way and still be hands-free. You can still use your own personal, whatever wireless things. And that is, again, it's key. When you're traveling with kids, if you can be hands-free, should anything happen, it's it's really nice, <laughs> it's really nice. And then plus in general, like no one wants to have to deal with like the cords and everything like in the way it can get very cumbersome very quickly, so. I would highly recommend this. It's great and it's rechargeable, so just make sure you recharge it before you fly anywhere. And it comes with a little hearing case, so good to have. Okay, so the last item is kind of a bonus because again, this is one of those items that it's kind of like a no brainer for people these days, but this specific one I wanted to share because I love it so much. So this is our portable USB portable charger or whatever it's but this one has all the cables you need so if you need a lightning cable for iphone i apple anything it has this attached to it if you need USB C or micro it also has it attached to it like it's all in there and the best 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 part is it has the plug for the outlet so if you need to actually charge the charger itself 
you can do it and you need no extra cables, no extra anything. Like this is the perfect like all in one situation. It's not super heavy. It has good charge. And if you needed to see like how much juice you got left, you press this button and it tells you right there. So that's why I love this thing so much. And it does, it really does come with me everywhere, travel or not, so. <laughs> All right, so that is my little travel essentials roundup. Um, I hope you got some good ideas if you didn't know about some of this stuff and hopefully you enjoyed. Like I said, everything is linked below that I can. And, uh, you know, happy travels. <laughs> so um, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe for more content. Bye. Just loving.